Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy George here. Today we are looking at the Argon Assault Rifle. I've had this for actually quite a bit of time. I've never bothered leveling it up. Check this bad boy out. So, obviously, um, this weapon looks pretty cool. But I'm going to be honest, all the neon weapons actually look really amazing compared to other weapons. The, all, the other ones that I would say look pretty amazing are the Vendor Tech. The only reason I really say this one's kind of cool is because of the little lighting effect. But guys, check this out. I currently have it at a 130. The DPS is currently sitting at around 57,000. Pretty amazing. The element is energy. Can't switch that off. It's got a crit damage, a reload speed, a headshot damage, and a damage to miss monsters and bosses. I feel like I want to switch this one around, but I don't know what to put. But check this out. Headshot eliminations cause an explosion damaging enemies within a .5 tiles for 30% weapon damage. As you guys know, I always love to see that explosion. I actually really love seeing that explosion when it actually happens. It's pretty amazing. But let's check out this description. Assault Rifle Neon shoots highly accurate energized rounds at a moderate rate for high sustained damage. Deals energy damage, which is fairly effective against all types of elemental enemies. Alrighty, boys. So, obviously, to follow that up, we got my salt loadout right here. Check this out. My main rescue trooper, Havoc. Increases assault damage by 50%. Preemptive strike. Increases damage by 6.5% against all full health enemies. Pretty nice. I like that, if I'm going to be honest. We got my guy over here, Light Shell Spitfire. We also got Mega Rain, Urban Assault Head Hunter. Each headshot increases headshot damage by 4% for 2 seconds, up to a maximum of 5 stacks. Obviously, we want to be going for that headshot damage, so this is why I'm doing that. We got my guy, Crackshot, over here. Firing a ranged weapon grants 1 stack of Holiday Spirit, up to 50 stacks. Each stack of Holiday Spirit increases ranged weapon damage by 2.9%. Or decreases weapon stability by 0.7%. Buff removes on weapon swap or reload. We also got my gal first shot reel over here. After reloading assault weapons, the next six shots have 100% critical chance. We also followed it up with locked and reloaded. After reloading, increased weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. Switching weapons removes buffs. Now, that's a pretty good loadout. I might switch out one of these heroes. But, guys, that's going to do it. We're going to go right into the mission, and I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we're officially in the mission. We got a really bad teammate, if I'm going to be honest. This guy over here, Karush, or whatever the heck his name is, really bugging me right now. But, guys, we're officially in the mission, and I got a couple things to say about this weapon. It's pretty fun so far. This is one of the funner loadouts that I like making. Really. Because... From, honestly, from these weapons, I really don't expect much, if I'm going to be honest. I really don't expect um, a high amount of damage, even though they're really cool, if I'm going to be honest. But, guys, you know, I just wanted to talk about a couple things. So, if you guys have not seen my last video, we are officially getting pirates in Save the World. Feels bad, though, because it's just a BR port in Save the World. We're not getting nothing special. Hopefully, we, if we actually get some original heroes, I'll be really happy. Like some original pirate hero. That'll be amazing, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, nice, nice little damage right there. So, guys, as I said, yeah, we're getting pirate llamas. We're getting new pirate weapons. We're getting a new launcher, as well as a new spear, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited for that, but the thing is, I just feel like... Fortnite's just not going to give us anything well worth our time, if I'm going to be honest. At least, at least, you know, in original, in, like, the originality. What I'm trying to say is, we're not going to get any, like, new, new heroes. We're going to probably get some BR heroes, which kind of really sucks. Because that, that's the only thing I really hate about Fortnite, you know. Why can't we get some, like, original heroes? Like, we get some original stuff, like, you know. I want to say we do get original stuff, but for the most part, sometimes we don't. <sighs> what the hell is that guy, man? That guy's growling. Everybody's pissed at that guy because he started the storm trust. 
Damn, man, the aim on this, brother. Oh, what do you mean? What? How am I aiming? So, guys, honestly, public matchmaking has been getting worse, if I'm going to be honest. Like, you see worse and worse people just playing this game, and it really sucks. Like, that guy, Karushu, literally started the storm chest when everybody was barely loading in, and I found it. Like, that that's the most messed up move you can probably do. Nobody's even loaded it up yet. Oh, let me start it. But, guys, I'm going to try to find a wall smash here. We got a witch here. Let's take her out. Ooh. Oh, two for one. Not bad. Let's take out all these guys. Let's see what type of damage we can do. Oh, wow. What are those two doing? I'm doing the conga. No, yeah, but if I'm going to be honest, I feel like we're just going to get BR... BR ports like they're just gonna bring them over from BR in to save the world and that really upsets me that they always do that Hopefully hopefully I'm literally praying that we get something original Obviously the weapons are gonna be original as well as those steampunk weapons if you guys remember um, the typewriter I'll show you a little picture the typewriter actually had a glitch where you know it was showing a different weapon Hopefully we'll get that specific weapon which would be amazing if I'm gonna be honest But let's go check out the spawn and then uh, we'll get back to once the mission starts. Hopefully a wasp masher ends up spawning. Oh, is this what I think it is? A wasp masher, guys? Let's go kill it. Oh, baby, I've been waiting for you. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on. At least do it a full clip. A full clip will be well worth my time. Full clip right there. 30 bullets it took just to kill one wasp masher. I hate you. I hate this. I hate that guy so much. Five bullets it took to kill that one. Alright, guys. The mission has officially finally kicked off. Per usual. Literally, these guys... I don't know what to say about this team right here. This is most likely the worst team I've ever played with. If I'm going to be honest, dude. Well, I, I, I set up a trap tunnel over there. One of them set up a trap tunnel over here. The other two just didn't do crap. I set up this trap tunnel as well. So, hopefully, they will start putting some traps down right here. But... So far, this guy not being too useful, man. This is the this this is honestly why I hate public matchmaking. If I'm gonna be honest, one of them probably thinks he's better than all of us. This guy right there. Let's take you out over here. But guys, let's talk about the weapon. So the weapon, pretty fun. If I'm gonna be honest, obviously, obviously, I'm not that disappointed by what it's doing. I pretty much expected this type of damage. Oh, wow. Dang, we took him out pretty good. Obviously, I expected this type of damage, if I'm going to be honest. And it's fair. It's fair. If you guys want a cool-looking weapon, I definitely recommend it. If you guys want, like, a so-so weapon, a weapon that's going to do decent damage, moderate damage, then this is the one for you. This is honestly going to be a very good weapon for the lower levels, if I'm going to be honest. Like, a really good weapon for the lower levels. I just don't personally see this being a weapon that's used in the higher and not power level 100 missions. I, I, that's honestly one of these weapons I really don't see. It. Just because I feel like you could probably get weapons that do higher a higher amount of damage, if I'm going to be honest. But definitely, it's worth the pickup, guys. Literally, every weapon in this game is worth the pickup to some degree. The reason I say that is because every weapon, it's going to be one of those weapons that I want to have fun with, if I'm going to be honest. Literally, every weapon that's re-released, I try to pick up. The only weapon that I have not picked up, in all honesty, is the Six Feet Under. That one I didn't pick up at all, because I didn't think, I didn't think, honestly, I feel like I should be doing way more damage, especially with this loadout. Imagine not playing with this specific loadout, and trying to do damage. That's going to be difficult. I was literally shooting at the bear, because I thought that was a zombie. Skadoosh. So definitely guys don't forget pick up every weapon literally that you can that's re-released because at some point you never know it might be rare You might want to play with it at some point. I Know I do I know uh, there's some weapons. I wish I was able to pick up Bobcat definitely one of those weapons that would always be running. I Hope it is re-released in season 9 if I'm gonna be honest I heard a little people speculating that it might be but that I am so unsure of Definitely one of those weapons that I hope that comes back. It's just all the military weapons are ones that I wish would come back. If you, if you guys know, the only one I currently own 
is the silence back there. I have the silence back there. I have the blue variant as well. The one that's just a specter. As well as, I actually, I wish I had the Whisper 45 on me, to be honest. That's a really amazing, good pistol. I really would love to have that one. But, that one was a missed opportunity. I do have some of the weapons in my actual Storm Shield, because some of my friends can, ca can craft some. This is one of the funner weapons that I've actually had, if I'm going to be honest. The Mercury LMG, I have really high hopes for that, if I'm going to be honest. I have really high hopes for that Mercury LMG, dude. Like, that thing better astonish me. If I'm going to be honest. Let me reload. Reload. Get this guy out of here. Boom, baby. Pretty decent weapon, if I'm going to be honest. There's definitely weapons, like I said, that do more damage. But it's always worth the pickup. But guys, this, I don't want to go on too long rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, and I'll catch you guys later. Once the boss spawns, I'll show you a little clip of that just to end it off. But I'll catch you guys later.